do you evaluate your outing? Yeah, a bit of a grind. Some really good pitches. Um, some poor pitches, uh, some excellent defense, some good catching, some great offense. Um, you know, we were able to we were able to stop them when it really counted. Uh, I was unfortunate to give up the lead um, twice, but um, it's a good team game. You mentioned that it was a little bit of a grind. What do you think made it a, a bit of a grind for you tonight? I mean, it's, it's postseason. Uh, you know, they're they're locked in. Uh, we're locked in. I mean, trying to make as many good pitches as we can. Um, you know, but they capitalized on a few mistakes, certainly. Um, and, uh, you know, that's probably from some poor location. Just, you know, not quite bringing out the best game possible, um, which is going to happen. So, um, you know, we had, to, we had to duck and dive a little bit and, and roll with the punches. How impressed were you with the defense that Gio provided behind you? Oh yeah, that, he was just showing off that one inning. I mean, oh my goodness. Um, no, the, I thought the defense was great uh, all around. Uh, it's a surface that nobody on this team is really familiar with, um, which can pose some challenges, I think, especially because how quick it is. Um, you know, but we were we were on top of the ball, um, and uh, we we made some good plays, and so uh, uh, fortunately it, it worked out for us. Thanks, Gary. Yep. Next one to Tom Marion. Can you talk about the contributions of Higashioka tonight, both behind the plate and at bat? Yeah, I, I mean, um, you know, the power stroke is there. <laughs> the power stroke is there. Uh, he walked tonight, which uh, is a very rare occasion for him. Um, but, you know, and I may be biased, probably the, the, the uh, most important play of the evening uh, from Kyle was um, when, I, when I crossed him up with the curveball to Margot. Uh, you know, just to be able to, goodness, just to be able to keep it in front would have been nice. But to catch it, um, you know, that goes to the backstop, and and uh, you know, it could be a totally different ball game. So that was a hell of a catch. Next one to Bruce Beck. Garrett, the strikeout of Margot in the fifth game on the line, bases loaded. Is that the kind of situation that that makes the postseason special and that you thrive on? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Um, big pitch, big moment, uh, executed it perfectly. Um, glad because I really got myself into a bit of a mess there. Next one to Eric Boland. Gary, you've been very complimentary of Davey Garcia. Just wondering your thoughts on him getting the ball in game two tomorrow. Yeah, um, excited for him. Um, you know, I I remember my first postseason start. Um, the nerves will be there, but you know they'll they'll never go away. We all get nervous before these things. Um, so, you know, he's very poised. Um, he's certainly thrown the ball well for us. Uh, he's in a good position, good good position to take the ball and 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 lead the charge. Um, I'm sure he's going to remember it forever, and he's going to have a good time. Next one to Tyler Kepner. Yeah, Garrett, uh, you know, you've seen <clears throat> the Yankees over the years um, do this sort of thing in October, be at their best. Is this kind of what you envisioned when you signed here, that the Yankees would look like when they are at their best? And what makes you guys so dangerous when you're playing at the top of your all game? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of an every year thing for me. I think ultimately, you know, um, you want to be playing your best baseball when it's the most important. Uh, that's how you get to the ultimate prize. So, whether it's the Yankees or any other team, that's everybody's goal. Obviously, with you know leading the charge with the most amount of World Championships ever, uh, more often times than not, the Yankees have come through. Um, so, you know, thankful to be a part of the organization. Thankful for the opportunity to to lead the charge uh, into the postseason again. And the second part of your question, what makes us so dangerous? I think. Um, I think obviously the talent level. I mean, we have a lot of really, really good players, but we have a lot of really smart players. Um, good common theme between all the good teams that I've played on is high level of communication, whether it be 
uh, talking about the pitchers, you know, in the dugout, you know, from 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 the leadoff guy to the nine hole, or you know whether we're talking about defense, you know, conversing about how we're pitching somebody, you know, maybe trying to get an edge in terms of uh, shading one way or the other, um, you know, just any sort of feedback from anybody, um, you know, facilitating that conversation is huge, and, and and so we do those things well. Next one to Bradford Davis. Hey Garrett, um, did you feel like you had any, two, as a, this is a two part question, did you feel like you had any issues particularly with basketball command? And also, I guess, what do you, you know, is there anything that you, if so, is there anything that you're working on to try and, uh, I guess, make sure that you, you're, you're hitting your spots next time around? Um, it was, it was not as, probably not as good as last start. Um, certainly, let's see. Certainly a few times losing some cal leverage, you know, trying the top of the zone or trying the outside part of the plate to the left-handers. I thought we got the ball in exceptionally well to right-handers today. Um, at times we commanded the zone the way we wanted to. Um, some quality misses, you know, towards the upper part of the zone or, or towards the side of the plate that we were working. You know, but at the same time, there were some pitches there that, that cost us, you know, cost us some 2-2 two -two counts to 3-2 counts. Um, you know, and, and then obviously with uh, Arosa Reina, you know, you can debate whether it's a bad pitch or whether, you know, it's the, the whole problem was getting the 2-0 in the first place. Um, and then Choi, obviously, uh, that was that, that pitch was fat and over the plate, and he does what he does when, when I leave pitches fat and over the plate. Um, you know, there was another good swing by Rosa Reina later in the game on a fastball, uh, you know, kind of challenging middle up, maybe a bit over the zone, blocked it off through the other way. Um, you know, but I, I would say it's not its best, uh, always room for improvement, um, but it was good enough.